important is this late season game for both these teams? This game is way more important for the Lakers. I than knew you was going to say that. Man, you could, it is, because the Golden State, they're in the 10th slot with four games to go. And maybe they can move up to, like, the 8th or, 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 or 7th, but I doubt it. If the Lakers, because they're going to stay, the Lakers need to avoid Golden State at all costs. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, the Warriors are, are, are have a winning record versus Lakers this year. But listen, if you, all right, but listen. I would rather LeBron get in a situation to for his playing life. He's playing against either the Sacramento Kings or New Orleans Pelicans or even the Phoenix Suns. When you have an opportunity to put Steph Curry in a one-game situation to where he could be the best player on the planet on any given night, and you can't say that about a lot no. of people, you don't want to be in that predicament. Now, I know that... LeBron hasn't lost a playing game, but that's all in the past. You do not want a one game for your life against Steph Curry situation. So Lakers need to try to win, move up to eight, try to push for seven based on, you know, Phoenix is playing uh, the Clippers the next two games. So maybe the Clippers can win a couple of those games and, and get help the Lakers out uh, with, the, with the way the schedule is looking. You need to avoid Golden State at all costs. Mm in a playing situation. And LeBron's never lost a play-in. Yeah, that's, and that's last doesn't year. Lose, and LeBron doesn't necessarily lose closeout games. I mean, he hasn't really... What do you mean, I mean closeout I mean, games? like, what, what I mean, when mean? I say closeout, I mean, like, one game for something. He doesn't necessarily lose that, whether it's game six, whether it's a game seven. It just doesn't... For whatever reason, you say you don't want to play against Steph Curry, but we got two of those dudes that on any given night, they could be the best in the, best in the whole game. All right. And LeBron James and Anthony right. Davis. Anthony Davis can be, look, if he doesn't get hit in the eye, he might have 50 one night. He just got to watch out the eye. You know, the eye is, that's his, <laughs> that's his Achilles heel. Whatever you do, don't get hit his in the eye. eye is his eye. heel. I like yeah, that. Just, yeah. his you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, look, the Lakers, this is, if you're right, Paul, though, it is, it is important for the Lakers to get this because what they did against Minnesota without LeBron James and then losing AD didn't sit well with me because all of a sudden you lose one of your top guys and Anthony Davis and you just fall apart. You're up by five, I think, at the point that they you were. lost Anthony 35 Davis. 35 to 30. You, you're up by five Late and all first of a sudden quarter. Yep. you decide you don't know how to play, you don't know how to shoot, you don't know how to dribble, you don't fell know how to apart. defend. You turn the ball over, you, you did. just kind of fell apart. You did. This is why. Now you look at where they're at in terms of the Thunder. The Kings play the Thunder tonight. The Kings is right there. They got the tiebreaker because they beat us. They didn't beat us, whatever, four in a row or whatever that number is this year. They basically brought out the rug against us. They've beaten you. Eight out of something. Eight out of nine. Eight out of nine yeah. times. And so that, to me, is problematic. They hold a tiebreaker over us, but we right there. We right there. And if we could take care of Golden State, a team that's won seven of the last eight, although we won nine of the last 11. Now, LeBron is probably going to play. I'm hoping and I'm praying most likely Anthony Davis is going to play. And if they come out on the floor, Golden State doesn't have anything to defend the paint. They don't have somebody. They don't have a rim protector, so to speak. We got a couple that we can utilize in this game if Anthony Davis your, is your ready Your bright to spot against Minnesota was Jackson Hayes. He made eight out of nine shots and had, what, ten rebounds? Yes, that's why I say we got a yeah, couple guys with Anthony Davis and Jackson Hayes. So... I think for us, we got Golden State, we got Memphis on the road, and then we got New Orleans on the road. I don't know what New Orleans, I don't know what that's going to be at the last game of the year at the end of the day. I'm not worried about Golden State, to be honest with you. You're not, I'm not worried about them? No, I'm not worried about them. Mean? I'm not worried about them. You should be. Why? How? For you what? You got Steph Curry over there. And we got LeBron James and Anthony Davis. You got, you got the Golden State Warriors who just two years ago won a championship. And we won one right before them. Uh, like, like five years ago. But come on, no, Paul. But this team recently with this same core won a championship. Yeah, with okay. With this same core. Okay. You got to be worried we about just, them. We just ran them out of Staples Center last year, okay, in game. I think it took us five or six. I don't six. remember. Six games. And it wasn't even, none That's of the true. games felt like <laughs> the Golden State was going to You got win. one game for your life. One game for your life. You don't want it to be against Steph Curry. Would you rather it be against Fox? 
But, but you Zion, keep saying, you keep saying you know we don't want it to I'm be against I'm just saying you want to avoid Steph. But what makes you think that Steph and them don't want it to be against LeBron and AD? They know they stuck in a 10th spot. They, they future depends on what the Lakers and SAC and New Orleans does. That is They true. have no control <laughs> over that. They're in the 10th slot. Man, so I doubt it very serious that they're sitting around saying we don't want to mm -hmm. play against Golden State. They don't care who they play. They they gonna be happy to be in playing well, and they a championship team. When you got Steph Curry, that feel like we can beat anybody on yeah. any given night. And the so, same dude that wears number twenty three for us feel that same way. He feel he that said way. It. Okay, but, Keyshawn. Mm, last yeah. year, Golden State was a troubled basketball team, and it all swirled around Draymond and that right. punch that started it all off and that basically ended it. Mm -hmm. They were done before they started, and they were half-hearted and sluggish and, and looked old and slow to me against you guys in those six games because you won them very convincingly. Yeah, we did. The last eight games, Golden State has reached down for whatever is left of their championship DNA and they looked different to me the last eight games. They lost one game at home where they've been terrible all year, but they lost to Dallas. Dallas is by far the hottest team in the league right now. Yes. We're going to talk about the Mavericks in just a few minutes. But it was no shame to lose by four to Luka and Kyrie at home. But that's the only game they lost in their last eight games. I'm seeing something different because I'm seeing Steph and Clay and Draymond say, let's salvage what, whatever we have left of our pride and our championship pedigree, it's time to reach for it and go. And they're starting to click like Golden State. They're starting to look like the Golden State Warriors to me. And they have a chance to come in to your building tonight on national TV, 10 o'clock Eastern, TNT, and embarrass you again and go up three games to one on you in the regular Not season. Happen on the night okay, game. but if they do, then they will all but assure that you're going to play them in another one right back. It, it would be at whatever we want to call it, the crypt or staples, whatever it is. But it would be right back here and it would be one game for your playoff life. And the irony of this conversation to me is we just talked about last night's men's national championship game and you're bored to tears over it where you're split screening. And listen, if it does come down to Steph versus LeBron here in L.A., one or done, one or go home, yeah. it'll be the greatest play in 9-10 game you can ever imagine. And it will have magnitude because these are two old war horses of the highest caliber. That's these, the, these are, and you, you make it my point yeah. for me. My man Paul keeps talking about, oh, well, they don't want to see Clay. I mean, they don't want to see Steph. Well, I think that Golden State would feel the same way about an old Wizard and LeBron. They don't want to see LeBron and AD in a, at home in a one-game scenario? Either, at either, way, either way, it's going to end one of these teams' era. Yeah. And either you way. said that. You said it last week. I said week. it last yeah. week. Either way. So I don't really want to see that matchup because I hate to see, you know, our Asian stars right up into the sunset, not making the playoffs. You know, I want to see both of them make a, a one valiant playoff run at least, a crack at it at least. And, and so... See, it's hard for me to think that there it's over it's if over. they don't make the playoffs. It's over. It's, it's hard it's, to... Like, the Lakers It's hard would be to believe over. the Lakers would be over, but Golden State could be over. It would... It, both, it's, it's, for it's, the yeah. Lakers not to make the playoffs, it's over. Not to make the playoffs, and you got AD and Bron, not to make the playoffs, and you got Steph and Clay. It's the end of an era. You're going to start hearing things like, whoa, should we trade such and such player? What do we do? What does our future look like? Do we have a future? Should we resign such and such? Does it make sense? We didn't make the playoffs with this core. Why would we do that? I mean, financially, if you're a, a president, if you're an owner, these are decisions you have to come to. Yeah. You don't make the playoffs and you don't significantly get better you might have to trade a LeBron or an AD. Oh. You, you, like, seriously, like, you got to start looking for the future. Well, I know one thing that would happen. Your man, Darvin Ham, would be gone. If they lose... Why are you my man? Okay, because I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm being ironic to you because he's not been your man. But the point is, if they lose to Golden State tonight and turn around about, what would it be next week, you know, whenever that playing game... It'd be early next week. It'd be in about a week. If they turn around and lose back-to-back -back home games to Golden State, Darvin Ham is out. Yeah. And maybe some major decisions would have to be made. Right, right. That's just how it go. I mean, what do you say about a team that doesn't make the playoffs with LeBron and AD?
oh, we can come back with this same core that didn't work? Well, you're going to come back with AD and LeBron, for sure, 1,000%. Yeah, no, that's 1, not 1,000%. Why wouldn't you? Why would you? Because you can put other players around them. How much better can you get? How much better you can, can get this get a team? whole lot better with AD All and LeBron? All right, so now I look at players. Austin Reeves is having a, a great year. You know, you know when I look at uh, D'Lo, he's he averaging more points than James Harden, more assists than yeah. Fox. He's shooting a higher three-point percentage than Kevin Durant. Mm. And he has more three-pointers made than Dame Lillard. Like, what, what more do you need out there? Like, they got... Yeah, the, but that's the, like, offense. Listen yeah. to what I just you said. Know, nothing on I defense. Agree. And he can go ice cold on you in a heartbeat. True. All right, so tonight, you got two X factors for the home team because LeBron did have the late season flu or flu-like symptoms. I, I don't know what it was. Game, man. Okay, Stop. but let, yeah. let's say he actually was sick or is sick. You think he's gonna be okay tonight? Did he just flip a switch and get over it? Yeah, they got stuff to take okay. care. They of got that. stuff. Yeah, they okay. got stuff to take care of. That All right, day, twenty-four hours. All right, AD got smashed in the eye again. He had a corneal <laughs> abrasion. <laughs> So now the big issue is, <laughs> would he go, as James Worthy suggested on the local postgame show the other night, would he go goggles like James did? Those face masks on nah, never, never. No. You never, never saw you me never with, have never one? saw me with no goggles, no. No, face I, mask. I swear, I thought I no, thought no, you no. had a face mask on no, no. once before. Did anybody no. on your team? I can't remember anybody. I, no. So goggles. you didn't put a face mask on after the wheelchair? <laughs> Man, come on. <laughs> hey, after the wheelchair, James Worthy offered him his goggles. Is that what he did? Well, he offered, <laughs> uh, he offered him to say, hey, maybe you need to put those on because he continues to keep getting hit on that side of his face. Yeah, and James Worthy's I point serious? is... I thought you had one. No, man, come on. No, I'm serious. I did. No, I thought but you But James one. Worthy said w once he started and got used to him, it took four or five games, but once he got used to him, he, he preferred wearing the goggles to not having the goggles yeah. on. It felt Kareem better. Wore them, but I'm trying to think, when, Kareem, when did Kareem start wearing those goggles? I don't know. Was it See, after James or before James? The cap wore him. He wore him for a long for time. For a too. long time, it'd be yeah, before yeah. James. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he wore him before. It must okay. have been before James. All right. So, do you see him wearing goggles tonight? Is it possible? I, I think AD plays. I don't know if he wears goggles, but the magnitude of this game means a lot for the Lakers. I mean, you have to uh, you have to play. And for the, for the most part, you know what? I will give it up. AD has been there more times than not. This year. He's played and, 70 yeah, yeah. some odd games. And he right? should make an all NBA team, possibly second all second team yep. all NBA. Uh, you know, I had to, I went down the list and I, I named my players and AD should be in there. I will give him that. He's he's been available. <laughs> you know, and, and that's the best ability is availability is that's what will we LeBron always, make all NBA too? Yeah, LeBron will make all so NBA all team. NBA it, it, it's, no such a, it's, such a, it's such a it's such it's such it's such it's so bad this year that you're gonna have two team, two players from a ninth seed team make All NBA. I mean, I went down the list. I mean, it shouldn't be that way, but you know. So Keyshawn, you got the Lakers tonight? Yeah, of course. Really? Why would of I course. Any, why would I pick anybody else? Well, I don't know. You, you if you had. Uh, a vision of how good this Golden State team is. If you looked hard at it, you say, hey. I looked hard at it. They are a good team, but the Lakers are playing good basketball, too. But it, they didn't look good against Minnesota, no. especially after the two guys, LeBron was gone at the start. He came into the arena, and whatever happened between coming in the arena and getting to the locker room, he went home. And then in the end, AD gets hurt in the first quarter, and he's done for the rest of the, the game. The Lakers did not look good at that point present moment. But now I'm assuming both of these guys are going to play. I'm assuming that. I don't know that as we stand this morning, I but I would think national televised game, Golden State Warriors, I would think that LeBron I mean, I, James and Anthony Davis both will play. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I mean, really, if the Warriors wanted to, they could rest their guys. They settled into the 10th slot. Yeah. You know, they only got a few games I think games they left. want psychologically to, to prove a point. Well, they, they've beaten the Lakers twice. I think yeah. they believe they can beat the... They do beat the Lakers twice this year. Mm -hmm. I think they believe they can beat the Lakers. I mean, because, for one, you're not playing for anything Golden State. I mean, if you're saying we're going to want to move up to the ninth slot, it's still the Lakers right there, I feel. Yeah, we won game in back of the Kings. Yeah, it means more for the Lakers than it does Golden State, so they can rest and be like, we'll just save it for next week. We'll, we'll come back to the Staples... And, and save it whatever, next Whatever week. floats they boat. Do whatever they feel they need to do. If they mm -hmm. like it, I love it. <laughs> we can go out. We can, we, they probably they went out to a good meal last night, hung out. But uh, We'll save it for next week. Mm. I they got Golden State tonight. 
I just think they've taken off. I think they're going to be a problem. I'm not saying they can beat the Lakers in the one or done game, in the playing mm -hmm. game. But tonight, I think it's Golden State's time and their turn. And that uh, Trace Jackson Davis has been playing big minutes Man, for them and I playing like strong. Young, I like that young. Kid. Yeah, he plays hard. He's six nine, so he's not seven two, but but he's playing big in the post for them. Well, let's see if if Draymond responds to Clay Thompson and not get kicked out the game because he means so much to uh, the Golden State. Well, that's Warriors, what Clay so. said on his yeah, podcast, so let's, right? Let's just yeah. Let's see if that takes place. Okay. And okay. did you like what Clay said? Yeah, I mean, but it, it's everything we already know. Everybody already knows that. It's just coming from a player now, yeah. opposed to outsiders. It's coming from inside, one-on-one, -on -one, me telling you, hey, you, you hurt this team, you know, yeah, when, you know when you're not there for us because we depend on you to be our true. guy because we, you know, we just two guys that want to play basketball and you handle everything else for us. Yeah, who you got tonight? You know who he gonna take. Come on, man. No, I got the Lakers winning tonight. Mm -hmm. You only I think said they, that they, they got no, no. They, the urgency. They have more. They have more <sighs> to win. They have more to lose by winning. Mm. Or you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So they 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 want to move up, go to state. They settle. They settled into the tenth slot. So there'll be more urgency from the Lakers. Thanks for watching, undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.